claiming innocence in a vehicle theft case. Good evening to you. I'm Tanner Hesterberg. Three people are in jail tonight accused of stealing two trucks over the weekend. Heather Gurton, John Goldsberry and Derek Mills are all facing charges. WYMT Sarah Anderson spoke to Gurton and Mills in jail who both say they're innocent. Police say a social media tip led them to the home of Heather Gurton and her fiance, John Goldsberry, on Sunday, where they found two stolen trucks. We actually received a call from one of the victims that told uh, Law Dispatch that his daughter had posted information about his stolen truck on Facebook and that she had received information through Facebook that the truck was located at a residence on Warrentown Road. They also found Derek Mills, who was working on one of the trucks. Gurton says Mills drove both trucks to her property where she planned to buy one. I didn't know it was stolen. I wouldn't have bought it. I've got two kids at home that I'm trying to raise. But Mills says he visited them to help out his friend. What I do know is I didn't steal either of the vehicles, let alone park either of them at their property when I don't even have a vehicle. You think somebody is good and you want to believe they're good, but your gut says they're rotten to the core. Goldsberry's mother, Rita Smith, says Mills told her he bought the trucks. When authorities arrived on the property, she says Mills told a different story. He told the cop that John stole it. Uh-uh, that don't work. Police believe one of the suspects stole the trucks, but right now they're charged for having them in their possession. In Laurel County, Sarah Anderson, WYMT Mountain News. Now, police also arrested Elbert, Elbert McFadden, who was also at the house, they say, and had a warrant out for his arrest. Right now, they're scheduled to appear in court October 18th. Mills also faces two charges of wanton endangerment in Whitley County.